Alright, so here we have the old stock PCB valve and the old air idle control valve which was stock from the Durango but I have managed to replace those I took out the two bolts and this the ball inside here it doesn't uh, rattle as much and if it was rattling it it'll get stuck as I fell in, a, fell in the truck you could do a hand test on it or blow test or a rattling test and this you can see all the carbon built up in it and uh, this will cause this oil consumption and then oil leaks on the gaskets and as you can see it was never replaced and this is a major tune up I'm doing on the truck right now and as well as this one it was sticking the valve this should be more up the front so and all that carbon that's built up all that sluggish is, it was time to replace this part it idles better now but we still have a little bit of the misfire but working our way down it's drivable more drivable than what it was follow and subscribe to the channel stagger 83 Tuning in again, this is my uh, 2000 Dodge Durango 5.2. I'm doing the valve gasket uh, restoration on it. It's, it's time for a uh, renew, for an uh, upgrade on it. I took off the bolt to use this at 11 millimeters or 7 16s. So, so far, I tagged the. Um, I tagged the uh, wires. Numbered in one through four, and then uh, one through four on that side, and then five to eight, six to eight on this side. So, um, you know, all the bolts are hand tied, so they're, it's, they're not snug like uh, they're just snug, they're not torqued down, or they were not that hard to take off. And it's simple, I already, I already took off one side, as you can see, they're real nasty old and a lot of oil on it the gaskets were leaking for quite a bit of time causing uh misfires and everything so i'm just doing a full restoration on it after they lift it up and take it off i'm doing the grommet rest restoration also because in the pvc valve and the new hose and everything so i was trying to take this off so that's how it started so i was like the parts went inside but now i'm just i'm just taking the Go about cover and restoring it all. I'd rather just do, do a whole job and get that misfire and get the engine running like new again and just put a whole new gasket on it with the whole PVC valve and um, hose and everything on it since it was dead also. I got some more pictures from the PVC valve and that's the full restoration that I'm doing on the Durango. But yeah, you know, just basic hand tools. Uh, I'll show you a bit. So I'm using extensions, a sorrel, uh, 3 8 half inch extensions, a uh, ratchet, I remove a lot of stuff out of the way. I got the gaskets, the gaskets sitting over there. You know, brand new from Field Pro. I'll put a picture on it. All of the parts from Rock Auto. You know, but the, it was the misfire, that's how it started all the project. But other than that, I removed the, the air box out the way. Disconnect a couple of things, but marked everything where I was supposed to. And that's the job, man. Subscribe and like and hit that button. Uh, I'll be up. Once I'm done that, I'll be doing the valve cover cleaning and post a video on that. But that's for the 5.2. It should be the same for the 5.9 and 4.7. Subscribe. This is how it looks inside. Pretty, I don't know if that's supposed to look like that. No, it looked like just, you know, of usage. But there's like a lot of sluggish inside, so I'm fixing to clean that up with brake cleaner. Let it dry. I'll be doing the oil change after this. So now if it goes inside the engine, all that's gonna go out. So there's no worries on that. That's a gasket, as you can see. It's pretty old, pretty old, man. Everything there's stock still. First time that it's been ever opened. So I went ahead and vacuumed all the all the leaves, all the dirt that was on this side. I cleaned up all that. This is the parts I'm using. You know, blaster, auto zone. You know, took that off one at a time and I covered up the um, where the spark plug goes. 
so no, no brake cleaner gets on them and goes in there. You know, we're gonna, I'm doing one side at a time. I'm not trying to rush it. You know, I got time and then after I'm done with this step, I'm gonna cover it up. Disconnect the battery also. This is uh, how it looks inside, the original valve cover. You see all that carbon, old sluggish oil buildup? Taking all that off. So this is, this is before. Taking all that off and I'm painting, painting this this valve cover also. It's gonna get detailed good and now I can take this old grommet off. But you remove this, you remove this, and now you can push it inside. But first I'm gonna start cleaning it off. You see that this I had to wash my hands like five times already. Got an old carbon buildup. This is a uh, project and build one side at a time. Alright, so I'm, this is uh, I'm cleaning the inside of the valves now, as you can see. With uh, they're gonna look shinier than that. This is my stage one. I'm prepping my valve cover engine. Painting process engine and the ML. I just got with the bright red. This is the first layer. I'm just letting it dry up. I already cleaned it up, degreased it, everything. So we'll just see how it turns out step by step. I'm covering up the hole so no paint will get on there. Oh yeah, that's the first step. Alright, so I'm, this is, uh, I'm cleaning the inside of the valves now, as you can see. With, uh, they're gonna look shinier than that. Alright, so here's the uh, first one that I did. That was three shots of layers. One day at, one day at a time. And this is the first prep on the right side. Clean them up and degrease them and that's the outcome. Looking pretty good. Paint stuck in real good. Everything, this one's drying, it's ready to go on the car. On the trim of the Durango. This one's still prepping, that's the first step. First layer. Paint job. Here's my new uh, PVC grommet that I ordered. Real dark, there it is. This is the new uh, PVC valve itself. Also here in the case, let me open the case up real quick. Here it is, brand new. Brand new. We can clean this inside. About to go up the You can hear a rattling. There it is, there's a new PVC. And uh, the new hose also. Auto or auto? I just went ahead and ordered a new hose instead. And I just saved the old one. So is that one? Okay. Here is my update on the Durango. My valve covers painted bright red, three times powered. Cody here in my garage. Came out, turned out good. I just gotta wipe out some of the some of the grease that I was left over with. Well then that just hand just hand tie them. I just hand tied them. I didn't have to use the torque wrench. Just went crisscross. One, two, three. And back. And then front and back. Put all the wires back. Tied up everything. Everything looked nice and snug and fit. Now I gotta put the airbags back back on. And I'll be replacing uh that grommet. It's coming in new. It's already here. The GBC valve hose. All that's here. Brand new also. And that's a part two. We'll see how it turns out and the gasket came out. Pretty nice and clean too. I have some before and after pictures before sending it in. Let's do a Durango right there. Follow and subscribe. We got me already installed on the it's called a breather. Uh, I think if I'm right, a breather hose. We got the other element, I think. But um, here's the old grommet. 
you can see Polly was having back in leaks also. Might just get well all this get replaced already. Just make it look better. See?